like same to your answer because um, you're not saying what your problem is, like what you're struggling with, so that I can help you. Okay. Okay, so is everyone okay? Can we start? Is everyone okay? Can we start with the game? All right, beautiful. Okay, who just left? We were 15, now we're 14. Okay. Jan says, and DJ, yes. All right, guys, we are going to start now. I'm going to start. I'm just going to give you guys a minute. If anyone else was trying to get in, then yeah, they'll just use that minute to basically access the game. So remember, your names should appear on your screen, and that means you are in. Okay. I see CMP, which just joined in. Okay, the Veloz V Dante. Did we have someone else who just joined in? All right, now we're 17. I see two more people managed to join in. Okay, so guys, remember, do not leave the Zoom class. Okay, do not leave the Zoom class. And we are going to start run about now. So this is the first question. What drives the water cycle? What drives the water cycle? And our options are as follows. The triangle is the ocean. The circle says core. The diamond says the sun. And the square says the air. So guys, remember, you can put in your answers in the group chat as well if you are not present on Kahoot. Okay, so if you didn't manage to log into kahoot.it, send through your answers in the group chat. All right, beautiful. Um, Toby says, Okay, Toby, do not leave. You can stay on the group on the class and just answer the questions in the group chat. Okay, Toby, just answer questions in the group chat. So, guys, 10 of you got it correct. And indeed, it is the sun that drives the water cycle. Okay, so remember that the sun heats up the water or our oceans, causing the water in the oceans to evaporate. Okay, so I see most of you guys were confused as to whether it's an ocean or sun. So it is the sun. All right. And it is not the A. Ne? It's not the A. Yes. So let's see the leaderboard for the scoreboard. Okay. So Una is number one, Emilio and Jordan, second place, Michaela in third, Kiki and Elijah are in fourth place, and Nokwanda is on a fifth place. All right, beautiful guys. Okay, so let us move on. Second question, water evaporates, condenses, freezes, and melts in the water cycle. True or false? Water evaporates, condenses, or freezes in the water cycle. True or false?
Okay, I see Warabile used the group chat saying false offenses said true and indeed guys, the um, answer is true. All right. So the answer to this is true, water evaporates, okay? It condenses, remember condensation takes place in the clouds, it freezes, that is when we um, have snow falling as, or uh, rather as precipitation and it also melts, all right. Beautiful guys. So on our X is still on the first spot. Second spot, Nokwanda, followed by Michaela, Kiki and Elijah, Emilio and Jordan. All right, beautiful guys. Get on to the next question. Which of these is not part of the water cycle? Okay, um, Toby, do not leave. Use just look at the screen and send through your answer in the group chat. That is it. You're just answering the questions. Okay. Um, So you need to just choose the correct answer, okay? Correct answer. Right, beautiful. So oceans is the correct answer. Well done, Gabriel. Well done, Warabile. Um, I think you are the one who also said oceans in the group chat. Hey, beautiful guys. Let's see who is topping the scoreboard. Emilio and Jordan moved on to first place, followed by Kiki and Elijah. No does. All right, um, I see offense said false in the group chat, but the answer is true. Rain and snow are a form of precipitation. And if you guys can just remember, um, mist is also a form of precipitation and dew is also a form of precipitation. All right, beautiful guys. Okay, so no one died. ice and water vapor or solids chairs and water or is it milk rock and helium it's a <laughs> malik says ma'am i'm bad is at this game no malik it just take your time before you press the answer make sure that you read the question carefully and take your time before you um, select your answer. Right, beautiful. So it is solids, liquids, and gases. That is correct. So let me see. Um, the other two students said milk, rock, and helium. Nope, guys. Um, it's definitely not milk, rock, and helium. 
Okay, um, in the group, I see, I think it's offense, isn't it? Um, offense said liquids, okay. Gabriel said solid, liquids, and gas. Waravile also said solid, liquid, and gas. And that is a correct, guys. That is correct. Well done. Let's see who's topping the scoreboard. Nokwanda is in first place, followed by Zoe, Kazade, Ona X, and Little Jo. All right. Question seven, liquids have a definite shape and can flow. True or false? Liquids have a definite shape and can flow. True or false? Aha, uh -huh, beautiful guys, it is true, okay? So guys, please do not be confused. Liquids do have a definite shape and what is meant by that is if we pour a liquid or water in a glass, it will take the shape of the glass, okay? So that is what is meant with a definite shape and it can flow. Obviously, it can flow from um, one container to the next, okay? Let's see if we had any answers in the group. All right, beautiful. Aragbile, say, wait, what's happening now? Okay, let us move on to the next question. On the scoreboard, Kezi Day is leading, followed by Ona X, Nokwa and Zoe, and the Dante. All right, question eight. Gases, gases, gases do not flow, have a definite shape, or take up all the space available. Gases do not flow, they take up all the space available, or they have a definite shape. All right, beautiful. So most of you said they take up all the space available and that is correct. So guys, um, gases do not re necessarily have a definite shape because they fill up, they move freely and fill up all the space that is available. All right. So yes, gases do take up all the space. Beautiful, guys. So Tazi Day leading the scoreboard. Ona X is second, Nokwanda is third, Zoe is fourth, and Lonza is in fifth place. All right, let's look at the next question. The process where a solid changes to a liquid is called melting, condensing, evaporation, or freezing. The process where a solid changes to a liquid is called what? Right, so guys, um, I see Gabriel Waradile. They have answered in the group chat. Beautiful. So guys, if you are using Kahootne, use your own brain. Do not cheat. Don't look at the group chat and copy other um, students' answers. All right, just use um, your own thinking and memory. All right, do not copy from them. The process where a solid changes to a liquid is called melting, condensing, evaporation, or is it called freezing? So I need everyone to lock in their answers. Everyone needs to lock in their answers. I have 17 answers, and I think we're about 18 or 20 in the game. And you guys have about remaining.
All right. Okay, beautiful guys. So the process where um, a solid changes to a liquid is a cold melting. So if you guys just remember the story of Mashudu and his um, ice lollies, isn't it? I think Gabriel as well as um, was it Arabile? They answered in the group chat, and that they also said melting. So that is correct, guys. It is not condensing. It's not evaporation, guys, and it is definitely not freezing. Okay, so freezing is when a solid, or rather, is when a liquid changes to a solid. Okay. Next question. All right, let's look at the scoreboard first. Tazi Day still at number one on our X. No wonder Zoe and Lonza following up. All right, next question. Question 10. The temperature at which a substance starts melting is called the melting point. True or false? The temperature at which a substance starts melting is called the melting point. True or false? Yeah, uh -huh. so the answer is true. See, Gabriel in the group chat also said true. Beautiful, 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 guys. Okay, let's see who is leading the scoreboard. Tazid Day still at first place, followed by Nokwanda, Una X, Lonza, and Zoe. All right. A change of state is brought about by heating and cooling matter. A change of state is brought about heating and cooling matter. 